Hello, I'm Dave and Hiskey, and you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. In the video today, we're looking at if there was ever a specific obese woman who inspired the phrase, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. You might think the expression, the opera ain't over until the fat lady sings, derives from some stereotypical fat lady singing to close out operas. In particular, some have theorized the expression in question derives from the last part of Richard Wagner's The Ring of Nibelung, Twilight of the Gods, where the character of the Valkyr, Brunhilde, is typically played by a pleasantly plump woman who closes out the lengthy opera via a near 20 minute aria. But none of this is correct. The exact expression in question is actually a relatively recent invention, tracing its origin to the 19th 1970s. It's commonly credited to Dan Cook, a sports broadcaster from San Antonio, Texas. He was reporting on a playoff game between his hometown Spurs and the Washington Bullets in 1978, in which the Spurs were down three games to one. Seemingly off the cuff, Cook stated, the opera ain't over till the fat lady sings. But this also is not the true origin of the exact phrase. For that, we have to go back to 1976 when Ralph Carpenter was giving a report on the Dallas Morning News in March of that year. Despite his obvious allegiance, to the Red Raiders, Texas Tech Sports Information Director Ralph Carpenter was the picture of professional objectivity when the Aggies rallied for a 72-72 tie late in the SWC Tournament Finals. Hey Ralph, said Bill Morgan, Southwest Conference Information Director, this is going to be a tight one after all. Right, said Ralph, the opera ain't over until the fat lady sings. So from this you can see that Cook didn't actually coin the phrase as is often stated, his utterance just resulted in its popularization via inspiring Bullets coach Dick Moda to borrow the phrase and repeat it frequently during their playoff run that year as a sort of rallying cry against overconfidence. Moda even had t-shirts made with the expression on it. At this point you might be wondering if Carpenter really came up with the phrase off the cuff in 1976. It doesn't appear so. You see, the opera ain't over till the fat lady sings is just a modern version of a much older southern expression with the family of expressions going all the way back to at least the 1870s. For instance, in the October 17th, 1872 edition of the Daily Picayune, it states, as long as the organ is playing, church is not out. Not literally referring to church getting out, this saying has the same common usage as the opera fat lady expression, simply saying it ain't over yet, or to use a similar phrase, don't count your chickens until they're hatched. In 1894, another example is seen expressing the same sentiment in a report from the August 17th, 17th edition of the Fort Worth Gazette. The impression is still strong among railroad passenger agents that there will be further reductions in the rate to the Washington encampment of the Knights of Pythias. Church is never out till the people get through singing, said one of them this morning, and all of them talk as if they understood the language of this parable. In yet another instance, this time in 1896, reported in the New York Tribune, one Chauncey M. Depew is asked, do you think the governor still has a chance, referring to Levi P. Morton seeking a presidential nomination, to which he responds, while there there's life, there's hope. It does not do to count on anything as a certainty until all is over. Church is never out until they stop singing. The expression became relatively common from here, particularly in the southern United States, and fast forward a bit through history, is even known to have been used by various sports broadcasters in the 1970s. For instance, in 1974, pioneering female sportscaster Lee Arthur noted while broadcasting on KDKA Pittsburgh during a Rangers-Penguins hockey match, back in Indiana we used to say, the church ain't over till the singing's through. Two years later, in 1976, it was reported in the Baltimore Sun that the captain of the Baltimore Clippers team, Fred Speck, said of his team's chances, church isn't over until the choir stops singing, anything can happen. That same year, in a little obscure work called Southern Words and Saying, the first documented instance of incorporating fat lady to the phrase occurred where it states, church ain't out till the fat lady sings. Given the nature of this work, it can be assumed that this variation was at least reasonably well known in certain parts of the South previous to this documented instance. It's also been widely claimed, though I couldn't find any primary documents to support this, that another common variation at the time was, it ain't over till the fat lady sings the blues. From this, it would seem likely that Carpenter's real contribution, if any, to the sentiment was simply substituting church with opera, using the already established fat lady sings variation of the phrase. Two years later, Dan Cook and then Dick Moda would borrow the phrase, popularizing the opera version with the masses, and the rest, as they say, is history. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please click that like button below, it really helps us out a lot, and be sure and check out some of our other videos, we've got over 500 of them now, so you're sure to find something you find interesting. Thanks for watching.